What went wrong with the Bears Paw South feeder main, the one that failed and sent Calgary into a local state of emergency? After an investigation, the final report was presented to city councillors at a committee meeting on Wednesday. While it doesn't point out a single cause, it does list some factors. And the focus is on a surprising one, high levels of chloride in the soil. The report says there's no doubt that played a role in damaging the pipe. The report's theory on how such high levels were found in the soil there, road salts, the stuff that makes driving on icy, snowy roads easier. Carrie Black teaches engineering and she's been watching this story closely. I think you're going to see again, more investigation into the quality and nature of, of our soils in the city and how that might be contributing long-term to a, a faster uh, deterioration of our pipes. Because really what the investigation is looking at, why did the pipe deteriorate as quickly as it did, um, unexpectedly fail in the way that it did? And so those are some of the answers that we saw that I think are really helpful. While the pipe was built according to 1975 standards, it didn't hold up to its life expectancy of 100 years. The investigation found the outer layer of the pipe, the mortar, had micro cracks in it, and that allowed soil to come in contact with the wires that wrap around the pipe to keep it strong. Many wires were in bad shape. Some snapped because of corrosion, some because they were brittle. Damage, the report suggests, was caused or sped up by the salt seeping in. What was the cause? Was there gonna be a smoking gun? I think the report validates what we, what we thought was, it was going to say. You know, it's not necessarily one thing. It's a combination of a few different things. An independent third party created the report. They didn't find any problems with how the city was operating the pipe, like spikes or dips in the pressure that could have caused the failure. The city says the feeder main is in good to fair condition. It's stabilized since the break. But there are more questions about the Bears Paw South feeder main. Does it need to be replaced? Does the city need to add redundancies to its water network? We need to do a better job of understanding what a potential catastrophic event could look like and how it would impact our city and our region. And I think those are the lessons that we have taken away from what happened. We need to be better at planning for the worst case scenario instead of assuming that it's probably not going to happen. And what about those road salts? Gondek says if the city's de-icing mix is causing these major infrastructure issues, maybe Calgary shouldn't use it. Helen Pike, CBC News, Calgary.